Hey everybody, welcome back to dinner and a tip. So we are cooking outside today, but not this weekend. I think it's supposed to be 30 below with the wind chill. Today it's a beautiful 19. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little food prep. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and do chili on the Blackstone. So I'm gonna do the 90-30 hamburger just because I wanna go ahead and actually have less grease. And so I'm just going to do one pound. I'm just going to do a smaller batch of chili today. But I've also done turkey or the Italian turkey is actually really good too. So let's go ahead and go ahead and we're going to season just with salt and pepper to get started. And then once we get everything else, I'm going to go ahead and throw the rest of our seasonings in. So you are going to need a pot for this. You can't do it all on here, but we're going to do most of it. So for my sauce, I'm just going to do Hunt's tomato sauce, and I'm just going to go ahead and throw this in the pot, give that time to go ahead and heat up ahead of time. And next, let's go ahead and do some onions and jalapenos. This would be great if you wanted uh, green peppers as well. It's not my first choice, so I'm not going to do it. You haven't gotten one of these choppers yet. Oh my God, they make my life so much happier. It's nice you get more even sized bites of the onions, the peppers, or whatever you're cutting up. All right, go ahead and do our jalapenos, which I've never actually done jalapenos in my chili before, but the more I've been cooking lately, the more I've actually started enjoying them. I'm just going to go ahead and do one. All right, I'm going to go ahead and throw those down. Thought I brought out oil, but I didn't, but there's enough oil in these that they're going to be fine. All right. So I'm just going to work on getting our hamburger done. I do do two separate spatulas when I'm cooking my meat and my vegetables, so. Since I don't have any oil, I'm just going to throw a little bit of water to kind of loosen these guys up. Oh, love the smell of those jalapenos already. So, for our seasonings, this is my choice, but I'm going to go ahead and do some chili powder. I'm going to go ahead and do one teaspoon of this. I just wanted the hamburger to get started before I went. And rule of thumb, start light add extra because the longer you let this sit on here the more the flavors are going to build so it's a little bit better to go a little less than a little bit more so i'm going to do a teaspoon of cumin as well which is actually one of my favorite things spices for chili so i don't know if this is true i heard in texas they don't do beans in their chili so and then next, I'm going to do a tablespoon of minced garlic. So, yeah, people are like, how oh, cold is too cold? 30 below wind chill is too cold. It's cold for me. I ain't supposed to be zero this weekend. Not to mention, we're supposed to get three to five inches of snow. And I don't know if that's the weatherman's definition of inches or if it's man's definition of inches. So could go either way. All right. I'm going to keep going to this hamburger is all the, all the way cooked through. Basically, whatever level it's cooked at here is the level that it's going to be cooked at in your chili. It's not going to keep cooking once it's in there. So you want to go ahead and make sure it's all the way done. And got a nice toasting on these onions. And I did go ahead and touch that, but the meat's pretty much done cooking over here, so I'm not going to worry about it as much. But, for teaching purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and switch to these other ones. All right, this is coming along good. So, since we are in Minnesota, I am going to do beans, but I'm going to do the red beans with the mild chili sauce. 
If you're doing regular kidney beans, you might want to go ahead and drain it, but because we are not, we're going to do the ones with the soy sauce. All right. Our hamburger actually looks good and done. So I'm just going to pour those beans off to the side. I'm going to warm those up before I add them into our hamburger. And then I'm going to also toast our tomatoes, but I'm just going to go ahead, drain that juice first. Then I'm going to throw these on the grill and mix it all together. Right. Hamburger is done. Beans are warming up. Let's go ahead and add our onions and chilies. Or, yeah, onions and jalapenos. To make this spaghetti or chili a little thicker, I'm going to go ahead and throw some a can of tomato paste in. And I'll go ahead in the measurements and leave all the measurements that I'm using today. But. I'm a big fan of actually topping my chili with uh, actually uncooked onions. I like raw onions with mine. I'm going to go ahead throw those beans in. Finish toasting these tomatoes a little bit. And then the other little secret thing that I do, I don't know if everybody does, but it's brown sugar. And I'm actually going to do a third cup of brown sugar. The brown sugar is what's gonna actually kind of help with the acidity of all of those tomatoes. So go ahead, throw that in there. Yeah, we'll just throw the rest in there. All right, so basically we're gonna keep this going. All right. Oh, I am so excited. Chili is one of the very few things that I will eat while I work. I don't know if you can even see me through all the steam. All right. <laughs> so now all we're going to do is go ahead and mix all of our chili seasonings. Our hamburger, our onions, our jalapenos. All right. Got nothing left to do but taste this. So I'll probably actually leave this on my Blackstone for a little bit, but right now, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a taste. Can't believe it's been so long since I've made chili. So I love that you can kind of chop up the hamburger a little bit better. I'm super excited to try these jalapenos in here. Yep, this is how I'm going to spend my weekend, eating chili and staying warm. Hope you guys stay warm. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you next time.